There's so much paint. Hello everyone and welcome to another subscriber recommended video. That's right, it's two in a row. I'm spoiling yous. I'm spoiling yous rotten. You're welcome. So Kathleen left a comment wanting me to try squeegee painting. And it is something I have seen before. I've seen it on like TikTok, YouTube. I've seen it floating around on the internet. It seems like quite the popular painting process. And I'm excited to give it a go. I don't think I've ever painted with a squeegee. I know I've painted with a mop. Not on the channel, but just in my life. I've probably just painted with my hands and my face. Have I painted with my willy? I don't think I've ever painted with my willy. That's a thing. People do that, you know. And with their, like, female organs. They do, like, body painting and stuff. I think Eve's Klein. I think that artist used to do a lot of, like, body printing. Just, like, proper naked bodies splattered on a canvas. He didn't use a squeegee. He used tits and wee-wees. Why did I start talking about that? Where did that even come from? But I got myself a little squeegee, and, yeah, I'm excited to squeeze some paint. Okay, so I thought we'd start off with some smaller paintings first, just to kind of experiment and play around with it. And then at the end, I'm hoping to do like a massive squeegee painting. So I've got a little canvas board here, and I think the most common technique with squeegee painting is to add loads of dots of paint to the top of the canvas and then pull it down, and it leaves kind of like these little mountains. It almost reminds me of, you know, Super Mario and the levels with the little weird shaped mountains in the background, the colourful mountains with the faces. It kind of reminds us of that. It's definitely got that aesthetic. If no one else thinks that, then they didn't play Mario when they were growing up. Mario was my life growing up. Right, so I've got some coloured acrylic paint. I'm pretty sure all they use is acrylic paint for this. And then we want to start by adding some dots of acrylic paint to the top of this canvas. And I think your placement of your paint is the most important part of the entire process, so you need to get this right. The issue is though, you can't really tell what it's going to look like. Right, there's some red on. Go for a bit of yellow do a bit of blue, a bit of purple. I don't know how much is too much paint. I feel like I'm putting too much on already. We'll go for a little bit of green and then some white. So there's a closer look at the placement of my paints before I squeegee this. Don't know what it's gonna turn out like, but we'll soon see. So all we're gonna do is take our squeegee and run it down this canvas in one motion and fingers crossed this is gonna look good. Oh, 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 yes. That's really good. That's really nice. I put far too much paint on. I didn't need that much. Ah, oh, that's well cool. That was so ridiculously easy to make. That's like a really fun process. I can't believe how easy it was actually. I think the trick with something like this is you want to apply a lot of pressure on. So I applied like a ton of pressure on and squeezed as much of the paint off as you can. But that's really nice. It doesn't mix the paints as much as I thought it did. It keeps them quite separate, which I'm quite surprised about. But that's just an easy way to make like a nice little piece of art for your walls. I'd, I'd definitely hang that up. <laughs> Loving it. Right, I want to do another one now. And yeah, I definitely added way too much paint. Like, look at all that. That's such a waste. Look at it all. I might put a little bit less on this time. Okay, so for this next little one, I thought I would create more of a kind of boring colour scheme. Like a monochromatic, not very colourful, not very vibrant, kind of plain one. Just for all those people who kind of like that aesthetic out there. So now we're in in the sitting room to my bedroom. It's really cozy. Obviously not me. So I'm just gonna go for the three colors, a white, a black, and a gold. And I'll put a little bit less on this time. So with this one, I'm experimenting a little bit more with kind of smaller little dots of paint and larger blobs, just to see what will happen. It's very subtle, very, very subtle. It's not me. Some people would love this. Some people would absolutely go crazy for something like this and think that it fits in with their home decor really well. But something like this, it just doesn't get me excited. I find that so boring. It needs some green, it needs some yellow, some blue. It just needs literally any other color in there. But for the minimalists and the people who like this kind of stuff, then, you know, lovely, absolutely gorgeous. Okay, and for this final little experiment, I wanted to see what it would look like doing a kind of double dip. So doing one layer, squeegee it down, and then apply more paint and do another layer. It might be too much, it might be a bit crazy, but we'll see how it goes. That's the thing with like a painting process like this. You definitely 100% need to experiment and play around and see what works, see what doesn't. I think some of these paints are going off as well. I've had them too long. 
Yeah, my second camera just stopped. I don't think he missed anything exciting. I was just putting the paint onto the canvas. It's a little shit, that second camera. I swear down. It always goes off when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> anyway, let's try this first layer, see what this is gonna look like. Oh, that kind of looks really good. Do I want to do another layer and ruin this? Because look at the colours. Look at that pink and green. I didn't go all the way down the bottom. I should have. I'll, I'll catch that on the next lot. But I'll, I'll try another layer, see what it's going to look like. Also, I'm just thinking with like a painting process like this, it's something that you could easily mass produce and make an absolute shit ton of them and sell them. Like sell them on Etsy and stuff. I can imagine there's probably already artists out there who make a lot of squeegee paintings and sell them on different sites and stuff. And I suppose the good thing about this is it takes absolutely no skill, very little effort, and some people would probably buy them. Because they're just very commercial, aren't they? They're very pleasing to the eye. So it's a little business venture for you if you're interested. Make yourself some squeegee paintings. And I'm trying to use different colours on the second layer, just so it doesn't all blend in with the first layer. Okay, let's get this squeegee again, see what happens. See if this completely ruins it. <sighs> oh, it didn't ruin it at all. It made it a hundred percent better. Are you shitting us? Look at that. Oh, do layers. Definitely do layers, you won't ruin it, you'll make it so much better. That's completely my style, I'd 100% hang that on my wall. It looks even better in person, I feel on camera. It doesn't look as nice, but in person it looks amazing. Which is weird actually, because usually on camera, things look nicer than in person, but this is the opposite. But this looks fantastic. <laughs> I'm well into this. Okay, so now that I've had my practice with my little canvases, I thought I'd move on to a much bigger canvas. And I'm gonna try and do it in a very similar way to what I did the smaller canvases. But obviously I'm gonna need far more paint, far more colors. And I think I'm gonna have to do it in stages as well. Because if you think about how small my squeegee is, if I'm pulling and paint down from there, the paint that I've pulled down from here is going to go back up to here and then mix in with that. So I think I'm going to have to clean it each kind of straw in between so all the paint doesn't turn to mush. I think that's the best way to kind of do it. I'm, I'm using my head, I'm using my brain. Right, so let's get an absolute crazy amount of colours on here. Do we think that's enough paint? I can't tell whether I've got enough on or whether I don't have enough on. I think that might look good. With this process, it's really hard to tell. And you might put like all of this effort in and put all of this amount of paint on and do the squeegee technique and then it'd be completely ruined. So it feels like quite a high risk painting process. But I have a feeling this one's gonna look good. Let's get it squeegeed. Oh my god, the amount of paint I've put on here. There's so much paint. Oh no. Oh my god. That's why I'm gonna clean in between because otherwise all that paint's just gonna get mushed up. Oh, it's, it's looking good so far though. Right, second round. So we'll go for along here. I'll overlap a little bit on this side as well. Oh, I ended up getting a dollop on there. No, do I dare squeeze it off? This is really hard when it gets to a bigger pin. Right, I'm just gonna try and tidy this bottom part off. Just lightly. It's actually kind of easy to fix, to be fair. Right, let's go for the third section. Good, 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 good. Okay, now for the fourth and final squeege, I think. Oh, this looks so good. Honestly, it looks absolutely amazing. I'm gonna have to tidy up because I've got an absolute shitload of paint. 
all along the bottom here. So I'll tidy up and then I'll show you what it looks like. So here we have it, here's the final painting. And honestly, it looks so cool. It looks absolutely amazing. I'll try and show you the best I can some of the details and some of the colors. It's really hard to capture it on camera, but these paintings, they look so much better in person. The colors are just incredibly vibrant and the textures and everything. And I absolutely love the kind of shapes that it creates, these kind of weird oblong circular drip shapes, but they aren't really kind of drips. One thing I will say though, it is an incredibly messy painting experience. I have got paint everywhere, but such a fun idea. I absolutely loved it. Would highly recommend doing this and it's so easy to do. And obviously with this painting technique, I'm not entirely sure who started it off or who started the trend, but there is an artist called Gerard Richter who is incredibly famous for doing paintings with a squeegee. It's not this kind of squeegee, it's more of like a printing squeegee. And I've seen his work several times in different galleries and they're these absolutely ginormous abstract squeegee paintings and they're just so impressive to look at. They're really, really great. So I'm assuming this trend has kind of come from that. That's the only thing I could kind of pinpoint anywhere. But if you're an abstract artist out there and you're looking for a different kind of painting process, squeegee painting, I think you would get some really nice results. Obviously what I've done is kind of the normal kind of way of doing it where you pull the paint down. But I can imagine you could get some even different, crazier effects if you do kind of circular motions or kind of go diagonal and on top of each other. And there's just loads of different things you can actually do with it. So thank you very much, Kathleen, for recommending I try this. I've had an absolute blast. I've really, really loved it. Although I really enjoy my big painting, I actually prefer my smaller ones, I think. Oh, I don't know, though, the big one's quite nice as well. I, I like them all. I even like the boring one. That's how much I like this technique. I even like the one with the boring colours. Very upset with myself over that. But if you did enjoy this little experimental painting day, then make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you come across any other kind of weird painting processes that you want me to try in the channel, feel free to suggest them in the comments below because I will try them. Well, depending on what they are, but for the most part, I will try them. But anyway, I'll see you next week for a brand new video. Oh my God. I have done this entire video and I haven't even got paint on my t-shirt. How's that happened? Oh, look at the little hands cut my boobs. Oh.